Hi, I'm Natalie from Seriously. I have been asked by a couple of people recently how they can best take a picture of a receipt while they're out and about and get it into Xero um, without needing to save it to their phone and email it across. So I thought we could do that today. So I'm going to share my screen with you. My, my, I'm going to share my phone. So. Here we go. So here's my phone. So you can see we've got the Zero app already loaded and it's the standard Zero app. We're not using the expenses app today for this. So I'm going to go ahead and tap the Zero icon. I'm going to log in. So here we've got the demo company. You can see all the information loading up. Now we're not going to look at most of this today. We're looking specifically at how we upload a receipt to Xero. Now we've got two ways to do this. First off, we're going to look at how we just get a picture of the receipt into Xero, into Xero files to deal with later, either ourselves or perhaps we've got a team member who's going to process that into our accounts for us. So what we're going to do to do this is we're going to use the plus button in the top right hand corner of the screen. This is then going to give us options. So we're going to choose the very bottom option, which says upload to files inbox. Now, if you've already taken a picture, you could go ahead and choose the photo or choose the record from one of your files on your phone. If you haven't and you've just walked out of the shop, you've got that receipt in your hand, you can say take photo. This is going to open up the camera within the phone. So now we can take a picture. Now this is a post office receipt that I did the other day. I'm going to take a picture. If I'm happy with the picture, I think it's nice and clear. I choose use photo. If I was a bit shaky, it was a bit wobbly, the wind blew it, whatever. We say retake and we get another go. So I'm happy with this. So I'm going to say use photo. Now all that has done is sent a copy of that picture into zero files for us to go and look at. So to show that, if we use the th three dots in the top left hand corner, and then choose files, we can see that that picture that we just took is now there. So there we go. So obviously that gets the picture into zero, but it doesn't process it into our bookkeeping and our records. So to do that, we can do something different. We can, again, go to the plus button. And this time, if we're saying that this was a spend money transaction, so the money is gonna come out of the bank account instantly, it's nothing that we've had on credit terms, we say add receipt. So now we get to process the information as well as take that picture. So first of all, I'm gonna say, what was it for? So this was, we say office supplies. Where did you spend it? Now, if you don't have the post office already in here, you can enter them. Of course, if you've already got a contact, you would pick one from the list. I'm going, to say, so I'm going to say I did it today because I've just walked out of the shop. But of course, if this is something that you're, you did a few days before and you're going through your purse, your wallet, then of course you can pick anything from those dates. I'm happy with spent today. How did you pay? So this is where we choose one of the bank accounts that we have listed in our Xero software. So I'm going to say I did it from the business bank account. Categorized to an account. So this is where we have to choose one of the chart of account codes to analyze the purchase. So this was printing and stationery, we'll say. Region, so this, I'm in the demo company. So the tracking categories in the demo company are called region. If you don't use tracking categories, then you won't see this option, but if you do, you just pick one. And then we say the amount. So this one was 76p. And this will automatically default to the figure you're entering being inclusive of VAT. If it isn't, then if we click on total including tax, what we can see is we can choose any of those VAT options. So I'm going to say that this one was 20% VAT on expenses. Let's pretend that we've got some stationery. Now at this stage, if you've bought multiple things that need analyzing out, you can go to the optional details button and start adding extra lines. I'm not going to do that today. Um, attach files is the next thing we're going to do, which is how we get that photograph in there. So we say attach files. Again, just like you saw before, if we already have the document in zero files, we could choose it from there. That's our extra option compared to earlier. I'm going to pretend we don't have it 
in zero files and I don't have the picture on my phone, I'm just going to say take photo. Again, that opens up the camera. Away we go with the picture. If we're happy, use photo. If we want to redo it, we say retake. Use photo. And there we go. We can see we now have one document attached. Once we're happy with this, we say add. That is adding that receipt into Xero. So that spend money is now sat within our bank account in Xero, waiting for us to reconcile against the bank statement line when it appears. And that's it. That's how we can get a receipt into Xero, either just to store it in Xero files or to actually process it as a spend money transaction. Hope that's going to save you all lots of time.